Did you know that Mary in Gematria is Saturn? And Jesus is the number 11 in Gematria. That's why they use 911. 11 in, in Gematria is red hair. Golden hair in Gematria is Saturn. So you know how everybody, all these women want to be blondes, have more fun? It is Gematria for Saturn. So it goes to the reddish hair, green eyes. Green in Gematria is Lord. L-O-R-D. So when you call somebody a Lord, green eyes. No wonder that the criminal elite are hunting down the RH negatives with the hazel green eyes. Hmm. You pray to the Lord. Listen to this. You eat his body in the churches like a cannibal. You drink his blood like a cannibal. So that makes you a vampire cannibal. You put ashes on your forehead like you're dead. And then you say, Jesus has to die for your sins so that you can stay in the flesh. So you kill him. <laughs> the government does a fake UFO thing, right? They abduct green-eyed people through the fake UFO thing, the fake globe earth and the fake everything that NASA does. <clears throat> so when you're looking for Jesus in his bloodline, all you got to do is look for RH negative hazel-eyed people like me. Now, this is not an ego talking. I'm telling you, Gematria works. It's mathematics. And once you really awaken, you start seeing these codes and symbols and shapes of the letters and the numerology. And it's real. So Jesus was a green eyed, just like the American Indians were murdered. There were tons of redheaded American Indians. As a matter of fact, they used to cut their hand, which comes from the Atlanteans and the Mayans, by the way. They used to cut their hand because RH negative blood separates from RH positive blood. And they would cut their hand, you see it in the spaghetti westerns, and it would separate. If the, if the blood would come together and not separate, they knew that they were brothers from another mother. <laughs> you wonder why we have all these wars? We wonder why we have these man-made hurricanes and fires in the east and these private security contractors that are being hired by royal families to hunt down targeted individuals? I've been telling you I'm a targeted individual. I'm telling you that they killed my daughter, which was a RH negative, hazel-eyed person. Um, genius type personality. Um, missed 50 something days of school while she was being electronically harassed and still got a 4.3 GPA. Academic scholarships. And she also could critically think. So she was a target. They call her indigo children. The army calls them empowered individuals. They don't want empowered individuals on this planet. Guys, this is real. Look it up yourself. Lord means green-eyed people. That's what it means. It means green. <laughs> Mary means Satan. <laughs> don't use, don't call the moon Mary. And by the way, don't even call the moon the moon because that is, that is a feminine entity. Okay? That's why they go Mormon, Roman. It's not the moon, okay? It is what it is. It is a spiritual entity of feminine uh, spirituality. And it's, it's alive. You're looking at it right now. So guys, more proof. These storms, these fires. This is a massive, all these wars that we've had. Uh, the enslavement of black people. It wasn't just enslaved. They went over there tested their blood, and killed the RH-negative black people. There's hardly no RH-negative black people left. They went into the villages just like they did the Americans. There's hardly no American Indian RH-negatives left. Most of the American Indians are not RH-negatives anymore. But green eyes, matter of fact, my ex-wife was green-eyed. Um, and they love turning 
the Rh negatives or that non-D, I call that antichrist D antigen. Now, I'm not insulting Rh positives. I believe that we're in the age of awakening, in the age of Aquarius, the shift of a constellation to where there's an evolutionary process happening to where people are becoming from iron bloods to blue blood, copper bloods like Jesus Christ. And it's, they're not just hunting down RH negatives. They're hunting down every critical thinking mind, every evolutionary X-man, every person that is mutating and evolving, whether you're RH positive or RH negative. But the RH negatives are becoming something that they can't handle. The things that have been happening to me, this awakening movement, is beyond anything I can describe. It's better than any sexual experience. It's better than anything I've ever experience it's amazing and i know that they're microwaving me at night for a reason because it's stopping me from my evolution or whatever is happening to me like all these freaking movies that they make about superhumans but they're taking that superhuman movies you know they've been radiated and tur turtles and you know <laughs> teenage mutant ninja turtles i mean they're all, everything's a mutation right my radiation which is nothing but light guys radiation is just light so we've, we've shifted to a new light, and there is a mutation happening in the genome. And this new world order, this depopulation agenda of the, of the royal families that are tied into Bill Gates and Soros and Ted Turner and I can name names, Rothschild Rockefellers, Cologne family. As a matter of fact, I was watching, listen to this, I was watching the New Orleans local news, okay? And they interviewed a girl, her name was Cologne, and she was Jewish, uh, Italian. <laughs> I guess one of the Cologne family children wanted to get on TV after they're, see, they're already, they're starting to, you know, see, when, when the New World Order hits and they get the population down to 300 uh, million, then the Cologne families and the Frenazzi families and all these uh, Jesuits can come out and become kings of men. They're tired of being in hiding. They want to be worshipped like gods. I'm telling you. Please pay attention. All right. Green means Lord. You remember the movie America, Sister Golden Hair? Golden Hair in Jamatra means Saturn. Moon, I mean Mary, means Saturn. And then I want you to go to Jamatra and type in the word Saturday, which is also associated with Saturn. And look what you come up with that. Okay. It's amazing the words that you come up with in Hebrew and simple gematria. If you're not doing gematria, uh, it's like these storms. All these freaking morons that are doing storms, and if they're not talking about weather warfare, weather modification, geoengineering, chemtrails, whatever, they're not truthers. Stop going to their channel. Unsubscribe and listen to the real truthers. Real truthers are talking about things that are serious threats. Our lives are in jeopardy even talking about this stuff. We are sacrificing our lives for you. And we don't want to. We want to move you into, we want, you remember the story of Uranus and Saturn battle and Uranus, which is the, the feminine energy gave birth to Saturn. It goes back to ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia and Babylon. And Saturn overthrew Uranus. We're in the age of Aquarius. It's Saturn and Uranus. Uh, blue planet, the spiritual planet versus the black dark energy planet the low vibration the one that does ac you know uh you know it vibrates at the frequency four instead of the one that vibrates at the frequency of 10 11 12 9 probably nine and there are uranium uranium people okay and then there's saturnian people like goats and sheep the sheep are the uranians and the goats are saturnian what's what did Hitler want? Blue-eyed, golden hairs, Saturnian, okay, a race of goats. What do the Mormons want? Blonde-haired, blue-eyed, a race of goats. Please wake up, people. The Mormons are the Romans. Okay, just like every religion has been sieged, whether it's martial arts, whether it's Buddha, Krishna, Tammuz, Muhammad, Every religion has been corrupted today. 
it's all been up, been turned upside down. Every single one of them. There is no truth in any religion today. Period. Like Joel Osteen, okay, he won't even give up his church. These people are demons. They're service to self individuals. They are not God's children. They are not prophets. They are not. There's no place where there's money today where there's truth. Zero. Zero. If you want to find the truth, just like the movie with Jim Carrey, you better go ask a bum on the street. You'll get more truth than you will from your president or any person with money. Um, thanks for listening, guys.